Hello friends, welcome to my channel Dr. Squad. So today is our new topic is right ventricle internal structure of heart part 3. So we will talk in this video about right ventricle. Sorry, right ventricle. Okay. So uh, before starting the deep structure of the right ventricle, the most common thing I want to tell you is that it is triangle in shape. Triangle in shape. Like this. Okay. I will show you afterwards. Okay. And of course it receives deoxygenated from uh, blood from right atrium to right ventricle. Okay. The most common right atrium, right ventricle. Okay. By tricuspidal T. A T V. Okay. A T V. So right atrium tricuspid valve to right ventricle. D D D. D means deoxygenated blood. Okay. So right atrium from right atrium to right ventricle. The blood transfer from tricuspid valves. The deoxygenated blood is transferred. Okay. This is the most common thing that are usually everyone knows. Okay. Now be before starting the internal structure. Let's go with the topography. Okay. It is located two third of sternocostal surface and one third to inferior surface of heart. As uh, if you didn't see our first video of our the heart then please go to see the our first video okay in that video i'll show you that what is the sternocostal surface and the diaphragmic surface so diaphragmic surface is also known as inferior surface so, so mostly two third of the part is sternocostal and one third part of the inferior surface of the heart okay so it consists of three surfaces as everyone know about that so let's directly begin with the structures of the right atria. Here I will draw a triangle like this because it seriously looks like this. Okay, and if you see it's triangle and little bit heart shape also. Okay, little bit everything. Yes. So first we will see if we have tricuspid valve in right atrium, then it sure we have the tricuspid valve in right ventricle okay so here we have tricuspid valve and we must have by uh, that pulmonary valve too why we can't see the pulmonary valve in right atrium because pulmonary valve starts from the right ventricle so uh, it is question asked that why pulmonary valve it at which area the pulmonary valve is located so pulmonary valve is located in right ventricle okay pulmonary valve and this is tricuspid valve okay and here the most important question that where is infundibulum located and what is the another name of the infundibulum so this part is known as infundibulum and it is also known as conus arteriosus conus arteriosus Okay, this valve must be located with the some muscles which are located in the right ventricular wall. Okay, so first muscle that is attached to the tricuspid valve. Here it's like attached like this, and this muscle is known as papillary muscle. Okay, and we have the another type of muscle which is uh, located wait a minute a 
I will show you whole diagram what is this okay here there will be the some muscles and this muscle is known as septal papillary muscle septal papillary muscle okay so this brown uh, type of the fibers like it is known as septal mammillary muscle okay so here the inside the tricuspid valve that uh, attached to the papillary muscle okay this is the papillary muscle and this is the tricuspid like this is known as cordiae tendineus cordiae tendineus okay so this is how now i will show you how this uh, uh, papillary muscle attached to the tricuspid valve okay before showing that i will show you some important thing is that tricuspid valve and pulmonary valve is divided by a crest which is known as supraventricular crest supra ventricular crest okay so this crest is known as supra ventricular crest and now i will show you how blood flows okay with the black i will show you from right atrium the blood comes uh, from tricuspid valve like this okay from tricuspid valve the blow, uh, when the pressure will be increased here the pulmonary valves open and the blood goes to the from pulmonary valve to the pulmonary trunk to the lungs okay so this is how uh, this both valves are important because when the pressure will be increased there uh, must be something which opens and goes the blood inside that vessel and uh, it must be closed so that uh, the another blood that come from the right atrium will stay here for few seconds so i will show you whole mechanism and the physiology of the heart so hope you will see that video and it is very coming soon so uh, now let's uh, start with a uh, muscles papillary muscle okay okay here first i will show you that the three muscle papillary muscles are divided into three okay it as it is tricuspid it must be three uh, cups and if it is bicuspid there must be two cups okay i will show you how mm. here we have a fibrous ring okay and this fibrous ring consists of cups as we are talking about the tricuspid i will draw the three cups okay so papillary muscle these are papillary muscle it is anterior which is largest septal or middle like uh, in some valves there must be middle and the posterior and posterior is the smallest so which papillary muscle is largest anterior okay then this papillary muscle attached to the cups like this okay and this fibers like thing is known as cordae tendineae i will tell you in depth in another videos of the heart okay about the valves where uh, which valve is uh, which 
valve is uh, uh, like it is it consists of three cups right in bicast fluid there will be the two cups so which valve is located in which area and where so this is all about the right ventricle hope you like the video if you like the video then please hit the like button uh, subscribe our channel and comment in our comment section that you like this video or uh, you want something better than this and the next topic that you want and uh, I'm thoughting that soon we will uh, make the videos on the MCQs of the INAT of the any topic. So please suggest me the topic which one with on which topic you need the MCQs for PG or MCA. Thank you.